up friends it's joelle welcome back to another vlog we have a lovely rainy day here in la i am in the arts district i'm about to go meet a friend for coffee at verve it's very pretty they have so much seating and they have a little parking lot which is amazing i don't want to keep my friend waiting so i'm gonna go in but i hope you enjoy coming along another la adventure of who knows what'll happen in this vlog back home from the gym sat down with my laptop and books for my productive part of the day i also am enjoying this oolong that my friend angela brought back for me from taiwan it is just like so fragrant and subtle and tasty and i feel like the the key to just like a yummy at home tea is the tiniest bit of sweet and condensed milk it just makes it a little creamy and brings out the flavor of the tea. I have my little manatee tea steeper here. But it was so lovely to spend time with Anne this morning. We both <laughs> cried at various points in our conversation because we we're just sharing so vulnerably and able to talk with each other about faith and what we feel like God is doing in our lives individually right now and like seeing how what God's teaching each of us can help each other. It's a very beautiful thing. I had been really hoping to develop stronger relationships with other Christian friends since moving to LA and I just feel so grateful that I'm able to do that and have people to share such a critical part of my life with. So feeling very hashtag blessed. With that in mind, <laughs> I'm going to sit down now, probably try to journal a little bit and edit and just take care of, I don't know, taxes. I just made myself some dinner and you know those mushroom shaped little potato dumplings that have been going viral everywhere on the internet I decided to make them they are very very starchy like I can't eat a lot of them but they're quite tasty I put some in my kimchi jjigae that I had left over from work the other day so I'm gonna have this for dinner it's one of our friends birthdays tonight so a ton of people are coming over for a little pregame so I'm just having a nice quiet evening to myself before it's time to be social Okay, there's a bunch of people in my house and I just finished getting ready and put some makeup on. I've been using the new Kaja products that they sent me. This is on my eyes right now and I was wearing this jelly blush this morning. I'm not wearing it right now though because I'm going out. I feel like I like to use a little more powder products just so that things stay on. If it's sweaty, I don't know. I always just wear sweatshirts before we go out because going out clothes are normally cold and uncomfortable. Two of my least favorite things. But I'm wearing a shirt from the editor's market underneath. Doo -doo -doo. This Fenty perfume is like my fun nighttime perfume. One spritz. It's really strong. I feel like it lasts like all night. Talk to no one, I'm home before Paula is slash left before I'm pretty sure everyone else left. I feel like I'm the type of person where I'm like, clock hits midnight and I'm like, I no longer need to be outside of my house. Evening ritual, every time I go out to have a liquid IV after. These flavors are so freaking good. It's the Smoky Mezcal Paloma and then the Cucumber Mojito. I think these might've been limited edition. Otherwise, I love the Tangerine Vitamin C liquid IV. Ugh. I don't know what it is about liquid IV, 
but it's so delicious. It is once again a lovely weekend. I am actually here at my aunt's house outside of LA. I came out here because my parents are here for the weekend, so we're just having a lovely, wholesome family weekend together. My favorite kind of weekend. And I think we're actually going to go into LA today to spend some time. There's not a whole lot to do in the suburbs, and I love taking my parents to my favorite food spots when they're here. So I want to show them the few places that I've been really liking and wanting to go. I figured it'd be fun to try to do some makeup. I haven't really been wearing makeup this past week, which has felt really nice actually. I thought I might've been getting like a little bit of a sigh or like eye infection, gross. It made me want to stop wearing makeup. And also I've been breaking out so badly for the past few months. I just wanted to give my skin a break and I was working from home and not filming this week and I think it actually really helped restore my skin barrier. I feel like my skin barrier was all whacked out because I kept breaking out consistently in these same areas. We're tossing on some sunscreen. It's been getting warmer in LA. I feel like I can really tell spring is coming. It gets me really excited because I love seasons and when I was living on the east coast it was so fun to mark the change of time and in northern California in San Francisco where I grew up we would not get any change in season with the environment except there's like rainy or season so i feel like la actually changes more with the seasons la summer is hot hot but the winter is actually very mild and temperate so you can really just feel it coming and also spring slash mid-march where we are right now marks exactly one year that i've been in la remembering where i was this time last year it's really cool to just give thanks and be grateful to god for how far i've come and how much has changed with this past year. So much good stuff I have to be grateful for. And I'm thankful to all of you for coming along with me. Alrighty, the makeup is done. It's so nice to have a week of not wearing makeup and then when you put makeup on, you're like, wow, I look great. This is what I'm wearing for a little day out. An unusual crop top appearance, especially around my family, but this is just a tank top from Oakenfort. It's black and ribbed. These are Levi dad jeans. And this oversized jacket is from Aritzia. Shani, Shani, hi, good morning. Oh, oh yeah. As the Lord is great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, <laughs> hmm. I mean, but they didn't even have it in the kitchen or wall units. That God was clearly calling him to California, to LA. We made it to the Koreatown Galleria. And we're just shopping around before we get some lunch. And Shawnee's with us. <laughs> and what it does is it starts to warm up your body. Oh my gosh. Shawnee is not loving being held this long. <laughs> I wanted to take my family to Yuchun because they have really good naengmyeon and my dad loves naengmyeon. downtown LA. Okay. I've never been here before, but I thought it'd be fun to take my parents, my extended family, and we can take Shawnee. Oh my gosh, cute. Wait, these are so pretty. These are probably so expensive. Yeah. Oh, I want these pants, but they're $600. The cheekbones drawn on the Superman one. Hey, 
close row, we made it to Silver Lake Reservoir. It's a good place for Shawnee to walk and enjoy a very nice day after lots of rain. So the reservoir must be very full. Thank you. Oh, it's so wrapped up. It's warm. Yeah, it feels warm and fresh. It has like a little bit of pumpkin inside, I think. Oh, I was wondering what that morning line was. Okay, we are now in K-Town. I wanted to take my parents to this restaurant called Soban. It's very popular. They're known for their spicy marinated crabs. I've never gotten it here, but I've heard it's amazing. And I've come here once before for their braised, I think, cod fish. Really good. So. Hey, Mom, you want to show us the, your sweater that you got at the row? Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> it's so cute. It's, really, uh, it's like oversized and has this fun print on it. Yeah. Warm and fuzzy. <laughs> it is. Actress from Parasite, actress, actor from Parasite. Oh, oh, Yay! <laughs> The significance of my John that that gives you as Asians, it makes so much sense now. I don't see who wants to go. Oh wait, can I take that theoretically? That. It is a very busy Wednesday today. Normally, I would be going into the office and going to the gym as usual. However, my car is broken, so I've been learning to take the bus in LA, and I have a gum doctor appointment. I'm so curious if any of y'all have dealt with this, where if you grind your teeth a lot, it causes your gums to recede, and apparently they don't grow back. I have a consultation to see if I'm going to need surgery, so I've been praying that I don't, but we're going to see since it's been kind of like a long time coming since getting braces and because I grind my teeth. I'm feeling so incredibly slay right now. I just finished filing my 2022 taxes. <sighs> filing taxes is actually one of the worst processes. So I'm very proud of myself for not waiting till the last second to get it all done, but got the text. My federal and state taxes are approved. If you are a young adult and don't know how to file your taxes, I personally used TurboTax. And I started doing it because I think when you're under a certain income level, it's free. I'm sadly no longer eligible for the free TurboTax, but it is very simple, at least for me. Um, dealing with my content creation stuff, it's not too complicated. It took me a little over an hour today, so would recommend if you are, um, I don't know, thinking about tax things. I'm obviously not paid to say that, but it is truly just the service that I started using growing up. Daniel, he's in LA from Seattle. And we just, <laughs> I feel like every time we hang out, we just get coffee and talk for like two hours. It's not, not and it's great. Yeah, honestly. Three hours. Honestly. But come back soon. I will. 
It's Andy and Haley. We're going through this book together, which is critical young adult female reading. Yes. <laughs> Quality friendship. Time. For anyone who uh, is not perfect. 